With this one, you want to release any pressure that's in the lines. This one, I had just added the pre-filter, so there's no refrigerant, there's nothing going on uh, in the lines, and so there's no pressure. So if you had hoses attached or whatnot, you'll want to release the pressure and open the line, and so you have zero pressure pushing on the gauges, because what we're doing is zeroing the gauges when there is zero pressure. We want to measure and set zero when it's at zero. So that's the same with gauges. Uh, anytime that you're zeroing gauges, you're going to want to remove the pressure and make sure that there's zero pressure on those lines. And then we're setting at zero so that we can show what's actually in the system uh, when we hook anything up. Welcome back to Hunky Maintenance. Well, I showed you how to hook up a pre-filter to a recovery machine. Now I wanted to show you how to zero uh, some people call it calibrate, it's actually zeroing the gauges, but zero calibrate the gauges. You'll understand the basic idea, but what we've got is this little protective plug here that we got to get under. And it's a good idea to not lose it because we don't want a bunch of stuff going in there. And then right here we've got a little screwdriver deal and we just turn it right to zero. There we go. And we'll do the same for both sides and we'll put our little plug back in there. Mine's sort of bouncing around a little bit so I'm just kind of using a little wedge there to keep them from bouncing around so much. And there we go. Zero the gauge and now we're at zero and now we can get a nice accurate reading what's going on.